we always have expectations about what might happen when we do meditation, especially when we do mindfulness. We do it because we need our uh, our minds to calm down. We need to feel less stress. We need to feel more peace. There needs to be more more space in our mind. Um, and that's that's why we're doing this practice. Um, of course, nobody knows what's going to happen for the next 10 minutes. So when we do this exercise, um, there really is no goal. There's no way you're supposed to feel. We're just going to sit here for 10 minutes or so and be alive and be with whatever happens. We're going to meet and rest with the experience that's already here. We're not trying to create a special experience, an experience of peace or stillness or, you know, well-being or even happiness. Those things might happen and that's great, but they may not happen and that's great too because life includes a whole spectrum of experiences. Um, so we'll do this practice um, and we don't know what's going to happen. The next 10 minutes has never happened before in the history of the universe. It's brand new, it's fresh. It will happen and it will never happen again. So already we can be alert, attentive, curious even to what the next 10 minutes uh, of being alive will be like. Already then we're mindful, already we're paying attention, already we're open. We have what's sometimes called a beginner's mind, not the expert's mind where we know, oh, I know what's going to happen and, you know, this and that. We don't know. No one on earth knows what's going to happen uh, for the next 10 minutes, which is great, which is amazing. Okay, so before we, we begin the practice, uh, just a, a word or two on posture. There's no special way to sit really to pay attention which is all we'll be doing for the next 10 minutes. That's what mindfulness is, paying attention to what's here. That's it. Um, so there's no special way to sit, but as you might be sitting at home on, on a chair or something like that, it's best if you can put both feet flat on the floor, sitting upright, straight spine, relaxed shoulders, nothing bolt upright, nothing stiff, nothing uh, too disciplined, alert but relaxed. Okay, and so I'll guide us in for the next few minutes and then we'll, we'll do the rest of the practice. So you might want to close your eyes as well. There's no special reason why we close our eyes other than it helps us pay attention to our current experience. So the first thing to do is just simply listen. We're not listening for anything in particular, just listening. Are sounds happening? Are sounds coming and going? Are there distant sounds? Can you hear a foghorn, an aeroplane? Is there a dog barking in the distance? Listen now, have a look. Are the sounds that are really close up, sounds in the room? Can you hear your body making sounds? Perhaps you can hear your breath. Or uh, maybe you can hear internal sounds, the sounds coming from inside your head. Maybe a ring, ringing of the ears or something like this. So just listening. Being aware now of how you're body feels sitting here on a chair or cushion? Is it comfortable and relaxed? Or is there tension, strain? Is there tiredness somewhere in the body? There's no correct answer, there's just what's happening. And we're just having a look the way a detective would have a look. A detective arrives at a crime scene and he doesn't say, well, I know what's happened. He turns up and he has a good look with an open mind for himself. What is here? That's all we're doing. We're having a look at this experience just as it is. 
being aware of your feet on the floor. And how do they feel right now? Let's have a look and find out. Can you feel the soles of your feet on the floor? Do your feet feel hot or cold? And your hands? What's the experience of your hands right now? Are they tingly, pins and needles, sweaty, cold, numb? Do your thumbs feel different to the rest of your fingers? Just looking at what's already here. And now becoming aware of your breath as it moves in the body. How do you know that you're alive right now? How do you know that you're breathing right now? There must be a sensation of the breath moving somewhere in the body. So just see if you can find that place. How do you know you're breathing? Maybe you can feel the breath moving in the belly, rising and falling. Maybe you can feel it in the chest and lungs. Again, rising and falling in its own simple rhythm. Just feeling that movement. Noticing how it feels to be breathing. You can take some deeper breaths. Just to really notice that feeling of breathing. How does it feel? You've been breathing all day, you've been breathing your entire life, whether you're awake, asleep or unconscious. It's here now, it's happening now. This is live. Does it feel nice to breathe? Does it feel open, spacious, relaxed, quiet? Maybe not, maybe it feels labored or stiff. That's okay too. Noticing perhaps that the breath doesn't have a goal. It's not trying to get somewhere. It's not trying to run away from the past or run towards the future. It's just here, now. The goal of this breath just the next breath. It's simple. Now becoming aware of the breath as it flows in and out of the nostrils. So just place your attention into the nose. And just see if it's possible to feel the breath flowing in and out there. It's a soft, subtle sensation, so it might take a few moments to really tune into that feeling. After a few moments, you might begin to feel a sharper, crisper in-breath. Followed by a longer, smoother out-breath. So for the next 10 minutes or so, we're just going to place our attention onto this flow of breath. In breath, out breath, in breath, out breath. Watching that breath, being with that breath, paying attention to that breath. Using it as an anchor to hold our attention here in this moment, rather than in thoughts, memories, ideas, 
the voice in our head. So just staying with each breath. Each time your attention wanders away from the breath, which it will do many, many times, into thoughts, memories, ideas, images, commentary. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this wrong? This is boring. This is great. It doesn't matter. As soon as you realize you're thinking, just realize you're thinking. And then just gently guiding your attention back into that raw flow of breath. So staying with the breath, each time the attention wanders away, just realizing it's wandered away, that's what it does. And then just guiding it back into the flow of breath. So we're just letting everything happen just as it is. So sounds are coming and going. Thoughts will be coming and going. Feelings in the body coming and going. The breath coming and going. Everything's moving, everything's coming and going, everything's flowing. This moment is alive in that sense. It's dynamic, it's active. So allowing everything just to flow, just to be, just to wash through our experience, but we're just staying with the in-breath and the out-breath. Now see if it's possible to 
Really stay with the in-breath all the way in. From the birth of the breath, all the way in until it disappears. And then the start of the out-breath, all the way out until it disappears. And the gaps in between as well, the gaps between each breath, the silence, the pause between each breath, listening to that. Silence as well, listening to the gaps. So, for those of you who wish to continue with this mindful exercise, please do. For those that uh, would like to finish now, thank you very much for, for sitting with me and for trying out this, this basic mindfulness practice, awareness of breath. 